Hello and welcome to this another video on the 5 minute series. So as I told you in my last session, in this session I am going to talk about the variant principle. Now what, what exactly is a variant and what exactly is variant principle? So variant is an object in SAP which we define once and we can assign it to different company codes. Example, fiscal year variant, posting period variant, field status variant and chart of account variant. So what we normally do is we assign or we create the fiscal year variant first and then we can assign it to different company codes. Similarly, we can create the chart of account once and we can assign it to different company codes. So basically there are four important variants in SAP FICO. In this session, we'll be talking about fiscal year variant, posting period variant and field status variant. And in the next session, we'll be discussing chart of accounts in detail. So what exactly is fiscal year variant? Fiscal year variant is nothing but in the SAP system, we need to define, we need to tell the system that which company codes are going to follow what financial year. For example, if the company codes are in India, they will follow April to March financial year. While if the company codes are in Europe, they will follow Jan to December. So what we need to do is we need to create the fiscal year variants for April to March. We need to create the fiscal year variants for Jan to December. And then we need to assign this to our different company codes. In the fiscal year variant, we can define what is the total number of periods, what is the total number of normal periods, and what is the total number of special periods. So normally we define 12 normal periods uh, resembling to different months in the year, and we can define up to four special periods. What are four special periods now? Why they are used? So many times, uh, once we close our financial year, let's say we are currently in 2022, according to April to March, we are in 2022. And if you want to post an adjustment entry in year 2021, which is already closed. So if you don't want to open the normal periods of 2021, we can simply open the special periods and post our year end adjustments. Now why four special periods? This we can do in one special period also. So normally SAP has provided you the flexibility that you can differentiate the type of postings, type of adjustment postings that you are making in the special period. For example, if you want to differentiate the uh, year-end adjustments which are re uh, recommended by the auditors or recommended by the management or recommended by the tax authorities. So you can use one special period just to post the adjustment entries related to auditors. You can use another special period to post the adjustment entries which are related to the management. Second topic, second type of variant that we will discuss now is posting period variant. So as we know the financial year definition in the fiscal year variant. In the fiscal year variant, we define what is our first period, what is our second period, similarly what is our 12th period. But if you want to tell the system which period is open for posting and which period is closed, that we can control from the posting period variant. So in the posting period variant, we tell the system that which period is allowed to be posted. Normally in the posting period variant, there are three period intervals. The first period interval is used to control the financial postings, which controls which uh, period is allowed to post the financial entries. The second period is normally for the special periods. We can control which special period is open for the financial entries. And the third one which is introduced in SAP S4 HANA is normally used to control the CO postings. The third type of variant as we told we will discuss is the field status variant. So normally when you are posting the accounting document based on the GL that you are debiting or crediting some of the fields are marked as required, some of the fields are optional. So how the system controls this? System controls through the field status variant. So if you remember when we create the GL master data, we assign the field status group to that particular GL. Using that field status group, system determines which field is mandatory, which field is optional at the time of posting the transaction. So I hope you understood what exactly is variant, you understood what is fiscal year variant, posting period variant and field status variant. In my next video, I will explain in detail what exactly is chart of account. Thank you. Bye.